Hello guys, today's video is about skin care. Many are Chinese brands or Asian brands and acne skin related. I've received a few requests and asked me to share my thoughts on Chinese skincare. Uh, to be honest, I down few related videos in the past, but didn't generate too much interest. Therefore, I've kind of just pulled that content aside. But I personally feel, especially since I had my breakdown on my skins, I've tried so many different products and I really found good sets of products that really, really work on my skin. Hence, this video is here. I'm not going to go through all the products. I'm only going to put the set which worked for my skin. You can fast speed this part, but I need to give you guys a background about my skin as those products work on mine. If you are different skin type or different conditions, it may not actually deliver the result on you. So this part is important, but you can fast speed. My skin type is combined oily skin, normally has face oils on the T-zone and the surrounding nose. Because of that reason, hence I have big pores in those areas as well. I currently live in Changsha, where it's famous for its spicy food. I love spicy food. On top of that, I've been doing YouTube over a year. I've been constantly trying new products, doing makeups daily, remove face more than a couple of times a day. The spicy food and my current work has really contributed to the breakdown of my skin. My skin not sensitive, but very easy to have spots, acne, and recently I also sometimes, occasionally, have like red rushes on my cheek. My skin is not to 100%, but is 90% better than the worst of time. Okay, that's the, the first one, which is the toner. This one has appeared in my video, I think it's from the first video since I started my channel. This was on my monthly favorite. It's from the brand called Home Facial Pro. And here only probably about half empty bottles I managed to collect. I have 380 ml, 180 ml, 50 ml. Two samples as well. Can this be well proved? Main ingredients from this toner are acto acid, actic acid and glycerol. It's a very gentle toner, friendly for acne trouble skins. For me especially, it really helps my skin to calm down and soothe the skin. During my skin's worst period, when I had so many little spots, some of them came out, some of them still like a little lump under the skin, surround here and growing up to here. Other toners I used during that period, not really calm down the situation and some of them made it even worse that after applying my those area actually gets a little bit how to say itchy and also have a more redness coming out when my condition is a little bit out of control i would normally soak the cotton pad into this toner and put in the area and leave for about only about five minutes while I peel it off those areas when you touch it again you feel it's more calm it's not to make your acne or spots disappear straight away but really soothing those trouble areas and then helps your skin to absorb next product it is very friendly for acne skins from my own experience i find the most effective and efficient way of using all various different functions face product is to shrink them into three types. First, I will use the toner to really soothen my skin. After toner, I will only use one type of acid for the entire face. The third step is to use some essence or serums which is going to repair your skin. Then that's it, finish. Toner, we've done. Move on to the acid. During my worst period, this is the, the essence that worked and helped on my skin, which is from Chinese brand called Fu Qing. Uh, the full name of this essence is called Acne Clearing and Relieving Essence. The main function of this acid is to really balancing and control your face oil, which result in reduce the chance of getting more spots and acne. And look at the design as well. It's, there is a pump at the top 
you pump once, that would normally give you the sufficient amount for you to apply entire face. Do avoid your under eye area. This product does, does dry up. I mean, you will feel your face dry. So just be careful. I only use this one during my worst period. The experience of using it is oh, so nice. I don't think I don't think I'll be able to. Oh, I can get a little bit out. It's literally just like water. But the more you smudge it, you will feel it has a little bit, tiny little bit of oil in there. Once it's being absorbed, it gives you a clean face. You don't feel sticky. You don't feel greasy whatsoever. In fact, it does give you like dry up. But I don't mind that feeling, especially during my worst acne period. If you are dry skin, I wouldn't recommend this one. I have another essence which would work out better for you. If you're combined oily or extremely oily skin, besides you have acne conditions, I would highly, highly recommend. Once you use the, this one, it does, it worked on me to really balancing out the face oil. A reduced amount that my face would normally generate, which really result in uh, controlling the spot condition. The key reason of having spots and acne skin is not only about your skin condition self, mainly is because our pores are clogged and didn't clean or deep clean sooner enough. Also, another factor contributed to that is the amount of face oil that we generate. This is a perfect one to really balancing your face oil. The third product, as I mentioned, I will use a repair essence. Why use this essence? I tried the different repair serums to actually work with this because this does dry up your skin. What I find the most, most comfortable one is from this brand, Cosmetic Skin Solution. Uh, I don't think this is Asia brand. I just realized that. Apology. This is American brand, I think. I, I think a lot of you are probably familiar with this is the Supreme Olive Serum. It is so, so soothing your skin. The formula, okay, nothing from here. Can you guys see a little bit? Sorry guys, I really can't get out. This is the minimum amount I can now. The formula and the color itself, when you first time taking it out, you literally feel it's like olive oil. But as soon as you spread out on your face, it just gets lighter and lighter, start melting into your skin. What, and once it's been absorbed, you just feel your face are, how to say, properly balanced. There is no additional face oil, but at the same time, you feel your face are hydrated at the same time. These two are perfect, perfect combo. This one to give you the dryness on your skin, this one to well loosen it out and support the hydrating, but it doesn't impact the function of this spot control serum. I used this set, just three of them, day and at night, during my worst acne skin period. Once my skin calmed down, I then changed the to Dr. Wu. The full name of this essence is called Gentle Renewal Serum with the mandelic acid and it has the percentage over here. My is a stronger one which is 8%. If you are a little bit sensitive skin or first time using acid related product, I would recommend to go for the 5% one. This one compared to Qing Fu, this one, as it is named, it is more gentle. That's how I feel. It's a similar function. It also has oil control, clear your spots, and having the acid to helps your skin to regenerate itself faster, to basically speed up the whole process. The formula is very, very similar. It's just like essence, water essence. See through one. See, once it's being absorbed, give you a very clean finish. And this one does have the typical acid smell. So it's a little bit like vinegar, vinegary smell, but it's not too much. Then for the repair serum, which I used to 
work with this one together is from the same brand, Dr. Wu. And you can tell this is a red line here and here's a green line. So the green line are more repair based serine. The full name is called triple action repair serine. As it says triple action repair. So the key functions of this serine are oil control, repair and strengthen your skin. Thirdly, is to reduce the red rushes, red marks and black marks that been left over from your acne scars or sport marks. What I feel about this set is to help my skin maintain the good level itself. If you're acne skin, you know, <laughs> you will have up and downs, up and downs, up and downs. You just kind of, kind of asking yourself when it's going to be end, when I can use some lifting product maybe, when I can try different face cream maybe. This set has really stabilized my skin. I'm quite happy with my current skin condition. I know it's not recovered entirely. I still get the spots, but much, much more controllable. And I kind of can predict when or in what situation I would get spots or acne, such as when I had spicy food. Otherwise, my skin will maintain very steady level itself, especially on face oil generation. It is very much helped to balancing it out. So we cover the product I use in the worst condition and then move on to step two, try to balancing and stabilize your skin condition. Once it is being stabilized, you really want to work on your acne marks because it's very, very difficult to reduce or lighten it. Uh, what I feel worked very well for mine are those two. This one is called the Skino. And this is a Chinese brand called Ximu Yuan, Sim, Simp Care. Key functions of both serums are repairing your skin, regenerate your new skin, and to really get rid of the red marks and black dark marks on your face. The formula are different. If you prefer lighter, more clean finish, Go for Skino. This one is, is just like water. Oh, this is the empty bottle. This is the one I'm currently using. So it's literally just like water. See? It's like a toner. All the serums or essence I introduced today are clean finish. There's no greasy, no stickiness whatsoever. And then no smell, by the way which I really like. If you are sensitive skin or if you prefer a little bit more hydrating feel, go for Ximu Yuan, Sim Care, this one. This one is very similar uh, formula as cosmetic, this one. It's similar like a you know olive oil per se, but it's not oily whatsoever. I have this a little bit left. And again, so easy to be absorbed. Once you smudge it out, it gets lighter and lighter and then being absorbed, disappeared like that. Those two are used on step three. So sometime I would put them two as a pair or I put this two as a pair. Depends on my need. If it's quite a warm condition out there and I need to go outdoor, I know I'm going to get a little bit sweaty. I use this two. When I feel my face need a little bit more hydrating or when I use a fairly like dry up acid like this. Oh, I find my 30 ml Qing Fu, this one. When I use something like this, then I will use them as a pair. I know until now you may be a little bit confused. I will put the summary over here for you and I will include this information in my description box. So if you want to check product names and you want to see what set goes to what, go to my description and check it out. Before we're finishing, to maintain the condition, to make all above essence to work, especially during daytime, you have to, you have to seal your face with sunblock. Uh, my current one is this brand. I really don't know how, what's the actual brand's name? 
Yue Yan Qing. I think that's what I call it, Yue Yan Qing. Again, will be in my description box. This tube I almost finished. To be honest, I'm not liking it entirely. Only one point, one point I don't really like. After this being absorbed, it's still a little bit oily or not greasy, but it still can see your face a sheer of oil on your face. I have to absorb that by the tissue first and then apply the powder to really make oil control per se. So it's not a like a clean finish. But this so far is the, the sunblock that didn't work against any those essence or serums that are used. Besides, this one does and designed for acne skins. It's not irritates your spots or acne or skin condition. Even you have so many troubles underneath of your skin, this is the sunblock didn't cause irritations and didn't water in my eyes. Hence, I'm still bearing its finishing as I don't really like it, it's a little bit too oily for my liking. Would I repurchase this one? The answer is yes. I know today's video is a little bit long. To be honest, I was a little bit hesitated of doing this type of videos, not only about the past experience that didn't really generate too much interest, but at the same time, you know, I'm currently in China. I've used most of the skincare products are Chinese brand or Asian brand. Not necessarily would interested to you, but to be honest, recently I received more messages and asked me to share my daily skincare routines and wanted to know more about the Chinese or Asian skincare brands. So hope you do like today's video or find it somehow helpful. <laughs> and if you like to see more this type of like a skincare related videos and want to know more different brands from Asia or from China, do click the like button so I know you are interested. Most importantly is still to subscribe my channel down here. Thank you so much for watching. Lovely to spend time with you guys. As always, I will see you next time.